Good morning. I hope that you all are out there listening and wondering, what am I doing here? I uh, was asked by Pastor Sarah Jane to come and read a story for you all, and that was very exciting for me. You know, with all this COVID virus out there, we miss each other. I have grandchildren. They call me Nana. And I miss seeing them. What's comforting, though, is that that God knows that. God knows when we're worried. He knows when we're alone. He knows when we miss each other. And he's always there for us to talk to. So that's what I'd like to do now. I'd like to ask you to bow your heads and let's say a little prayer. I kind of fold my hands. You don't have to. It It makes my hands a little bit less busy. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to be with each other, even if it's from a distance. We've missed each other. We miss talking to each other. We miss reading to each other. But you know that. And you're there to comfort us whenever we want to talk. So thank you, Jesus, for being there. Thank you for these children. Thank you for tuning in with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So what I would like to do now is read a book. Let's see if I can get all of this in the camera. The book is called One Big Heart. And it's a celebration of being more alike than different. And it was written by Lindsay Davis. So let's see what this book has to say to us. Lots of pictures. You could sign this book. Look at all those kids. Yeah, they're all saying hi. Flying balloons. In one itty bitty corner of a great big world, in our teeny tiny classroom, filled with happy boys and girls, each one of us is different. Because what fun would it be if it looked like my classmates and my friends, if they all look like me? Look at all those kids. Everybody being different. Our faces make a rainbow. Lots of colors all around. Shades of tan and melon skin and even chocolate brown. Some are missing two front teeth, while others smile with big dimples. God made each of us unique. It really is that simple. Some have wavy hair on top, while others wear their straight. Some sport afros twists or braids. I think my puff looks great. Juan is short and Reed is tall. We're every shape and size. Some have freckles on their nose and some have bright blue eyes. God gave us different bodies that can do amazing things. With one arm, Ellie does cartwheels. And my friend Amanda sings. Sam loves telling stories and wants to learn to read. Noah wears a bright red cape and runs with super speed. Asher likes to jump and splash and often makes a mess. Boy, we've made messes before, for sure. Uh, 
That feels like two pages. Hold on here, kids. Oh, they're kind of stuck together. There. The bell rings and we head outside for recess in the sun. Our giggles and our laughter show we are all having fun. I see more smiling faces and understand today we're more alike than different in many special ways. I hope we'll be able to play like that again together soon. We each have rhythm deep inside and makes us want to move. We love to run and jump around and find our playground groove. Back inside for music, we bop to every beat. We wiggle and dance sideways. We clap and we stomp our feet. And afterwards, it's lunchtime, our favorite time of day. No matter what we choose to eat, our taste buds shout, Hooray! Each of us is curious. We can't wait to explore. We ask lots of questions. And then we ask more. Everyone has their hands up. They are curious. Let's see. We all like to imagine and let our man's minds run free to draw or write or dream about what we'll grow up to be. Oh, I love to have an imagination. It takes me all kinds of places, even to the moon, and to be a princess, and to grow flowers, or tr travel to Egypt. That would be fun, too. We all have great big feelings that don't always stay inside. Sometimes we've gotten angry. Sometimes we've sat and cried. Then a friend will cheer us up and fill our lives with joy. We all need friends who give us hugs and share their favorite toy. But the way we're most alike, the most important part, God gave us all a special gift. We each have one big heart. One big heart. We're all the same that way. We've got a lot of elbows. We've got a lot of hands. We've got eyes to help us see and feet so we can stand. But the thing that matters most is something we can't see. The touch of God that's inside you and also inside me. That's the place where kindness grows and where love gets its start. Deep down in our pumping, thumping, one big heart. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that. As I was reading that, I was thinking, God knows us so well. As we said before, he knows when we're a little worried. He knows when we're not with each other. He knows when we're good at things. He knows when we're not so good at things. And he loves us anyway. His message to us is that we love each other, even from apart. And hopefully we'll be back together again real soon. So let's end with a prayer. Thank you, God. Thank you for the challenges of the day. Thank you for the blessings of the day. Thank you so much for children. Thank you for giving us one big heart. Even though we're different, we're not always at our best. We're not always at our worst. He knows that, and we can talk to him anytime. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.